Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Kitchen Goat. I'm Jason, and today we've done a field trip down to the uh, Nash County Farmer's Market. You can always check out your local farmer's markets even this late in the season, especially in North Carolina. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do two things. I, I got some uh, tuna steaks here from uh, Washington Crab. And uh, we got some kale from the Life Garden in Kanita. It's Kanita, not Cone Toe. But it looks like Cone Toe. It took me years to figure that out. And then we've got some collards. And I'm going to do this in the uh, Instapot. I know somebody's southern grandmother just flipped out, but I'm, we're going to do what we're going to do. So here's what you do for collards. Now you look here and you, you see this where it's limp. So that's where you, you know, you can still use that stock. This hard crispy stock, we don't want to use. So we're just going to cut right like that and pull it off. Now, growing up on a farm and having a farm myself, we don't waste it. This will go to the goats. So de-stalk your collards, and we'll be right back. All right, so now that we've de-stalked our collards, what you do is you chop them up. And, you know, there's, there's all kinds of, you know, social mores. And, well, my grandma did the, look. Do it the way your grandma did it and let her live in your kitchen another day. So we're going to cut it up like this. I'm going to put it back in here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to use city ham. Now, what's the difference between country ham and city ham? About a million milligrams of sodium. This thing is salty as all get out. I made the mistake one time of having a country ham biscuit and it just it, it was super salt so but it's great for flavoring so what i'm going to do i'm going to cut it up into strips and i'm going to put it in our instapot and i'm going to put that on saute so you put some olive oil in there and when it browns up and starts frying up like bacon, we'll add our apple butter, uh, smoked chicken stock, uh, half a bag of green beans, and our kale that came from Canada. Our black eyed peas, what did I say, green beans. So I'm going to cut this up and we'll be right back. All right, so we're going to put our onions in and stir it up. And this will flavor the collard. And instead of using brown sugar and sodium reduced chicken stock, I'm going to use my own apple butter chicken stock instead. Just cuts out a, uh, a step. So once the onions get reduced, we'll add our, our chicken stock, our, our green mix, and uh, some black eyed peas, and cook it for about 10 minutes and let it roll. Alright, so. Here's what we're going to do. We've got our stuff all uh, cooked down. Now, the reason I got these was because they're frozen and I don't have to soak them. So, a little bit of that. Apple butter stock, 
and uh, a little seasoning here. It says a little pressed red pepper. I'm going to get the one that's already opened. I'll be right back. All right. So after trying to figure out the debacle of where I put the crushed red pepper, all right. So found out about the kale too. You got to stem it off. So just like that, you know, this hard stuff. We don't want it. Add a little apple cider vinegar. And a quarter cup. Mix our, our kale. And our collards. And this is a great way to support your local agriculture even when, you know, summer's gone and everybody's like, oh, I'm done. You're not done. It's like Julia Child said, eat according to the season. So we're going to put this on for 10 minutes and that's it. And then I'm going to cook these wonderful local, uh, local steaks. We're going to put some uh, salt and pepper on them. And this will be a nice way to represent Nash County Farmer's Market. And it's super easy. So have fun. We'll be right back. All right, so this is one of my favorite things to cook is tuna. And what we did was we put salt and pepper, and then you press it down with your... And you know i got to go like this. So... We're going to get the pan real hot. Then, you know, little pepper. Roll. Rock and roll. Hot, hot, hot. Somebody likes it hot? We're going to have fun. We'll be right back. If your father-in-law loves you as much as my father-in-law loves his favorite son-in-law, get you a cast iron skillet with a lid. Kirk, you've done good. A couple more minutes. Our tuna will be done. Our collards and uh, kale will be done too. We'll be right back. All right, so I've mixed up my my greens and my or my I call them greens. I mean, they're they are green. So I've got um, collards and and kale and black eyed peas and you know nice little side and then we've got our our tuna over here Just like that. Alright, so I 
this this world's crappiest fork too. But a little overdone if you ask my wife. I like it this way. Great tail, great collards. Support your local farmer's markets. I'll catch you soon. Remember, be kind, be excellent to each other, and have a great day.